Are you ready to test your blood bank IQ? Let's dive into these juicy MCQs and test your knowledge. Question 1. What is the universal donor blood type for red blood cells? Option A. A positive option. B. B negative option. C. O negative option. D. A B positive. Correct. Answer. C. O negative explanation. O negative blood is the universal donor because it lacks A, B and RH antigens, making it compatible with any blood type in emergency situations. A positive has RH antigen and A antigen, so it's not universal. B negative has the B antigen and RH negative, not universal. AB positive is a universal recipient, not a donor. Question 2. Which test is performed to detect antibodies in the patient's serum? A. Direct Coombs test. B. Indirect Coombs test. C. Hematocrit test. D. ABO typing. Correct answer. B. Indirect Coombs test. Explanation. The indirect Coombs test detects antibodies in the serum that may react with red blood cells, preventing transfusion reactions. Direct Coombs test detects antibodies already on red blood cells. Hematocrit test measures red blood cell volume, not antibodies. ABO typing determines blood type but doesn't detect antibodies in the serum. Question 3. What is the minimum hemoglobin level required for blood donation in most countries? A. 10 gram per deciliter. B. 11 gram per deciliter. C. 12.5 gram per deciliter. D. 13.5 gram per deciliter. Correct answer. C. 12.5 gram per deciliter. Explanation. A minimum hemoglobin of 12.5 gram per deciliter ensures the donor has enough blood to safely donate without compromising their health. 10 gram per deciliter is too low for safe blood donation. 11 gram per deciliter is also below the minimum required level for blood donation. 13.5 gram per deciliter is acceptable but higher than the required minimum. I hope you are enjoying these MCQ lets smash like button. Question 4. What is the primary purpose of the CPD solution in blood bags? A. Prevent hemolysis. B. Store blood for long term use. C. Anticoagulation and preservation. D. Enhance oxygen transport. Correct answer. C. Anticoagulation and preservation. Explanation. CPD solution, citrate phosphate dextrose, prevents blood from clotting and preserves the cell's viability during storage. Preventing hemolysis is important but not the primary purpose of CPD. Long-term storage is supported by preservation, but not the only role of CPD. Oxygen transport is not affected directly by CPD. Question 5. Which blood component is most commonly used to treat patients with thrombocytopenia? A. Plasma B. Packed red blood cells. C. Platelets. D. Cryoprecipitate. Correct answer. C. Platelets. Explanation. Platelets help in blood clotting and are the most commonly used component for treating thrombocytopenia, low platelet count. Plasma is used for clotting factors, not platelets. Packed red blood cells are used for anemia, not thrombocytopenia. Cryoprecipitate is used for clotting factor deficiencies, not platelet count. Question 6. What is the maximum storage temperature for whole blood in a blood bank? A. Minus 20 to Celsius. B. 1 to 6 to Celsius. C. 15 to 25 to Celsius. D. 37 to Celsius. Correct answer. B. 1 to 6 to Celsius. Explanation. Whole blood must be stored between 1 to 6 degrees CC to prevent bacterial growth while keeping it viable for transfusions. Minus 20 degrees CC is too cold and could freeze the blood. 15 to 25 degrees CC is too warm, causing bacterial contamination. 37 degrees CC would damage the blood making it unsafe for transfusion. Question 7. Which antigen is responsible for hemolytic disease of the newborn? HDN. A. A antigen B. B antigen C. D antigen RH factor. D. K antigen. Correct answer. C. D antigen RH factor. Explanation. The RH factor, D antigen, can lead to hemolytic disease of the newborn when an RH negative mother carries an RH positive baby. A antigen and B antigen are related to blood types but not HDN. K antigen is part of the Kell blood group system, not involved in HDN. Question 8. What is the primary use of plasma in blood transfusion? A. To treat anemia. B. To treat clotting disorders. C. To restore blood volume. 
D. To increase red blood cell count. Correct answer. B. To treat clotting disorders. Explanation. Plasma is rich in clotting factors and is primarily used to treat patients with clotting disorders like hemophilia or during massive bleeding. Plasma does not directly treat anemia or increase red blood cell count. Plasma can help restore blood volume, but its main function is related to clotting factors. Question 9. Which blood group is known as the universal recipient? A. O negative B. A B positive C. A positive D. B negative correct answer. B. A B positive explanation. A B plus blood group can receive blood from any A B O group due to the presence of both A and B antigens and the Rh factor on their red blood cells. Question 10. What is the most common blood type in the world? A. O positive. B. A positive C. B positive D. A B negative. Correct answer. A. O positive. Explanation. O positive is the most common blood type globally, making it highly valuable for transfusions. A B negative is the least common blood type in the world. Question 11. Which of the following is a potential risk of blood transfusion? A. Hemolysis B. Hypovolemic shock. C. Graft versus host disease D. All of the above. Correct answer. D. All of the above. Explanation. All of these are potential risks associated with blood transfusion. Hemolysis can occur if the blood is incompatible. Hypovolemic shock can result from transfusing too much blood. Graft versus host disease is a rare but serious complication, especially with bone marrow transplants. Hemolysis, hypovolemic shock, and graft versus host disease can each occur independently or in combination. Question 12. What is the primary component of cryoprecipitate? A. Red blood cells. B. White blood cells. C. Platelets. D. Clotting factors. Correct answer. D. Clotting factors. Explanation. Cryoprecipitate is rich in clotting factors, including fibrinogen, factor 8, and von Willebrand factor, and is used to treat bleeding disorders. Red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets are not the primary components of cryoprecipitate. Question 13. Which antibody is associated with Rh incompatibility in blood transfusion? A. Anti-AB, anti-BC, anti-DD, anti-RH. Correct. Answer. C. Anti-D. Explanation. Anti-D antibodies are formed when an Rh negative individual is exposed to Rh positive blood, leading to Rh incompatibility. Anti-A and anti-B are involved in ABO incompatibility, not RH. Question 14. What is the primary purpose of a cross-match test in blood transfusion? A. To determine blood type. B. To check for blood donor compatibility. C. To detect blood infections. D. To measure hematocrit levels. Correct answer. B. To check for blood donor compatibility. Explanation. Cross-matching ensures compatibility between the donor's and recipient's blood, reducing the risk of transfusion reactions. Blood typing determines blood groups but not compatibility. Question 16. Which of the following blood products is most commonly used to treat thrombocytopenia? A. Whole blood. B. Platelet concentrate. C. Plasma D. Cryoprecipitate. Correct answer. B. Platelet concentrate. Explanation. Platelet concentrate is used to treat thrombocytopenia, low platelet count, and to manage bleeding disorders related to platelet deficiencies. Whole blood contains all blood components, but platelet concentrate is more specific for treating low platelets. Plasma helps in clotting disorders, not in platelet deficiencies. Question 17. Which of the following is the most appropriate test for detecting a hemolytic transfusion reaction? A. Direct Coombs test. B. Indirect Coombs test. C. ABO typing. D. Hemoglobin electrophoresis. Correct answer. A. Direct Coombs test. Explanation. The direct Coombs test detects antibodies that are already attached to red blood cells, indicating a hemolytic transfusion reaction. Indirect Coombs test detects antibodies in the serum, not on red blood cells. ABO typing identifies blood group compatibility, not hemolytic reactions. Hemoglobin electrophoresis is used to diagnose hemoglobinopathies, not transfusion reactions. 
Question 18. Which of the following tests is most commonly used to assess the need for a blood transfusion? A. Hemoglobin level B. Platelet count C. Coagulation profile D. White blood cell count Correct answer A. Hemoglobin level Explanation Hemoglobin levels are a key indicator of whether a patient requires a blood transfusion, especially in cases of anemia or blood loss. Platelet count is important for bleeding disorders, not for transfusion decisions. Question 19. What is the main complication associated with the transfusion of Rh-positive blood into an Rh-negative patient? A. Anemia B. Hemolytic transfusion reaction C. Iron overload D. Leukocytosis Correct answer B. Hemolytic transfusion reaction Explanation When Rh-positive blood is transfused into an Rh-negative patient, the immune system may react against the Rh factor causing a hemolytic transfusion reaction. Anemia is a result of blood loss or insufficient red blood cells, not a transfusion reaction. Iron overload can occur from multiple transfusions, but it is not a direct result of RH incompatibility. Leukocytosis refers to an increase in white blood cells, not a transfusion issue. Question 20. Which of the following is a critical test before a blood transfusion to detect blood type incompatibility? A. Cross-match test B. Hemoglobin electrophoresis C. Direct Coombs test D. Complete blood count Thus, correct answer A. Cross-match test Explanation The cross-match test ensures that the donor's blood is compatible with the recipient's blood, preventing transfusion reactions. Hemoglobin electrophoresis is used to diagnose hemoglobinopathies, not blood type compatibility. Hope you enjoy what is your score out of 20.